Cybersecurity is an enormous industry. It's at least a hundred billion dollar a year business. The reason it's so big is that we all use information to enable our daily lives. The fact is that Maryland is well poised to take advantage of all the opportunities in technology. Colleges and universities understand that. Cybersecurity is a hot area in the state of Maryland. Make no mistake about it. Here at UMBC, if you go to the research park, BW Tech at UMBC, you'll find a number of companies that have begun to focus increasingly on cybersecurity. Yeah, I think Maryland's been a, uh, a real leader in the cybersecurity space for a long time. And one of the key words is proximity. I mean, they're close to the federal government, which is the most provocative uh, target for just about any hacker in the world. So just naturally, they're gonna, it's gonna be here. But you know, SourceFire makes a difference in that we can tell you what's on your network, we let you know what your users are doing, and one of the areas we're interested in going forward is really where your data is moving around. And if you think about how dependent you are on the network and, and, and on the internet in general, you realize how vulnerable we really are in that space. So I find Maryland to be a really good place to do business, particularly in the cybersecurity space. Private Eye is a software application that protects your computer screen against eavesdroppers. We use facial recognition technology to tell if you're looking at your screen or not. And if you're looking, the screen's clear. If you look away, we immediately blur it. And if someone sneaks up behind you when you're working to sneak a look at your machine, we'll pop up a warning immediately and protect your screen against that eavesdropper. It's a really effective tool against social engineering in an office environment. So we have another product called Chameleon that's targeted at intelligence community, government, military applications. It protects computer screens against even really sophisticated attackers. What the user sees when he sits down is a normal screen and what anyone else sees is a confusing garble of misinformation. So access to folks at the NSA, at the CIA, Department of Defense has been really useful for us. SourceFire is headquartered in Columbia, Maryland, and we've been growing over 35% year over year, and very few companies are doing that in, in this macroeconomic climate. The analyst consensus on us is that we'll be the next software company to uh, cross over $100 million in revenue this year. Columbia has been a great place for us to uh, grow and live and uh, really prosper as a headquarters. Uh, we just crossed over about 300 employees worldwide. I started Oculus in 2007, um, really just myself and an idea, and I started writing patents. And then I started hiring people to do implementations. And we've remained small throughout the process. We've only grown by a few people every once in a while as we needed to expand to keep up with the work. But we've been able to accomplish an awful lot, and that's one of the beauties of, of being a startup. For us, the first three years of business has been fun and innovative and, I think, very productive. What makes Maryland special is that everyone is encouraging connections across the public and private sectors. So that colleges and universities are working with companies, with state agencies, with federal agencies, and with school systems, all with the same goal, producing the very best talent. Maryland has a lot of natural assets, I think, that really lends itself to the, the cybersecurity war, taking advantage of that. But it really has great people. And if you're trying to build a software company, it's all about the talent, and the people. More and more colleges and universities are coming here to UMBC from around the country because they see us as a hotbed of innovation. That is one of the key themes for the 21st century. The institutions and the states that will get ahead will be those who are most creative in their approaches to handling these problems. We're interested in more people doing more things for source fire, we need to hire folks. So curriculum in colleges, advertising that there's a lot of jobs in the cybersecurity space, all that coupled together is a really big opportunity for the state of Maryland. What we're gonna be doing as colleges and universities in Maryland is listening to the needs of employers. That's the part that's really exciting, that we get it. We understand, we need to understand exactly what employers need, the, the skills that people need to have. And so you're gonna see more and more relationship building going on. I think what Maryland has is this environment in which it's okay to try new things. This is a part of what's made other parts of the country successful. So I think the BRAC plan is gonna make an immediate impact on 
security business in Maryland because it's going to give those local businesses opportunities for uh, to bid on new projects and to win new deals. Right now, we are one of the most educated states in the nation when thinking about percent of residents with bachelor's degrees. We are always in the top two or three in the country when thinking about the numbers of PhD level scientists and engineers. Education transforms lives and in Maryland, we live that statement. I don't think that we should try to be the next Silicon Valley. I think we should try to be what we're good at. And we have these competitive advantages. We're on the East Coast. We're next to the federal government. We have our own capabilities in terms of infrastructure, educational system, and culture. Those are the things we should embrace. And by staying true to the personality of Maryland, I think we will succeed just as much as they do in Silicon Valley.